Hey there, Adrienne Elise here. Welcome to the Gaia Daily for June 17th through 19th, 2020. How are you doing? Wow. Can you feel this strange energy as we are tunneling into this eclipse portal at zero degrees cancer? Today, Mercury turns retrograde. So this is just compounding this strange feeling of being outside of time, um, in between timelines, can't go back, can't go into the future. And um, the energy of right now is like, there's really, we're running out of choices. Now, it feels like the energy of the past and the old paradigm is pulling us into feelings of failure and like you're not getting anywhere and you might as well just give up. But actually this surrender is about that there's only one way for us to go. That's this divine timeline. That's the spiritual ascension. Nothing can stop what's happening. And it's really strange because it feels like we're definitely stopped right now. <laughs> and so um, with Mercury turning retrograde, it's bringing us, it's just like compounding this energy. We've got Venus going way back into Gemini now. And um, the sun is coming up with a conjunction with the North Node. So the sun in Gemini. So of course, that's what makes eclipses is when the sun and the moon line up for the new and full moons with the nodes of the moon. This eclipse isn't exact it's at zero degrees cancer but it's pretty close to where the north node is at 29 degrees gemini so now the sun completing its journey in gemini coming up with this conjunction we're feeling this today and very strongly for the next few days leading up to this eclipse where the sun in gemini and the south and the north node trying to orient in our identity it's an identity crisis of course we've been feeling it this whole time that venus has been in gemini but now it's kind of a culmination energy this this eclipse solstice eclipse is definitely an apex experience for 2020 like here we are we are in it it's happening and wow are the stars and the planets lining up for us telling us a story. Um, and so we've got that Venus retrograde. We're questioning everything about what we care about, who we are. The sun coming into that North Node is like, who am I? What am I doing? Where am I going? Complete loss of a sense of self. That's the interesting energy of Gemini. It's about orienting into a sense of self. That's the stage of our development in our life where we begin to interact with other people and have an awareness of that, like say siblings and our parents and getting a self sense of self from the other. And so Venus represents relationships, right? And in Gemini, it's about where have we had our sense of self just crushed into nothing? Or where have we been able to, um, learn who we are by learning who we're not by getting entangled with other people. So it's a powerful, intense time of complete reorganizing of who we are in our identity and what we want, where we're going, what we're doing. And what's coming up is the South Node in Sagittarius energy, which of course, that means the sun is directly across from the South Node for these next couple of days. And that's bringing up that like, this in between slowing down stuck feeling in between timelines, it's inevitable that that would bring up past life feelings of guilt, grief, and failure in your mission, you know? And that's kind of, it's like the stuckness has everything to do with that, of this feeling of like, oh, well, what's the point, right? You know? And actually, it's a complete opposite of what's really happening. Everything that's happening right now is about us. We run out of time and we have to shift to the new timelines. And um, and the pain is coming around not being able to shift to the new timelines. And then what keeps us from shifting to the new timelines is often this past life failure, grief, and I don't deserve and loyalty contracts to people who are not willing or able to go to the higher timelines. So... It makes sense that we're stuck in between. And actually this Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde and eclipse solstice is really 
perfect <laughs> to keep us in, in alignment with what's happening. Um, but very confusing. Now that zero degrees cancer, that's a powerful energy. Zero is like right in the middle. It's the new start. There's momentum towards the new sign, but it's also like an initiatory energy in a place that's kind of in between suspended, which is exactly how we feel right now. But that zero degrees cancer is talking to us and Mercury retrograde in cancer, turning retrograde in cancer now is like, can you receive, you know, like, what if that new timeline is right there and you don't feel like you deserve it because of these old stories and these old timelines? And maybe you'd rather stay even if it's painful and it's getting more and more painful to stay in those lower dimensional energies and timelines. But maybe you'd still rather do that than face the delusions, the lies around low self-worth of what's happened to you in past lives and this life. And um, so... It's all on the table right now. And we're coming to that zero point, to that still point, to this place of like, okay, this is where we step off of the old ride and we're not on the new one yet. And the zero degrees cancer is about how do you get yourself to that place? You know, because I work with people all the time in these supernova souls. It's like, I really just want to do have my purpose you know I want to do what I'm here to do I want to have that community I want to have that partner I want to have this I want to have that I want to have this you know and it's like but what if like you're asking and asking and asking but if it really showed up you would run from it because you don't feel like you deserve it and and, and so it's just this is all on the table right now and that's why we're in this strange I can't go forward I don't know who I am place because we have to completely rearrange our sense of self. We have to completely rearrange our identity and uh, reorient to a completely new direction. And we don't get to know what that is. Now, it's interesting. The South Node Sagittarius is bringing up this energy of like, oh, I failed in my mission and the earth is like, it's going, it's all going to hell and it's all over. We lost. And, um, and of course, we know that the opposite of that is true, but we don't feel it right now. And so all of this is tied in together and the big energy, the big message for right now, it's taking a roundabout to get there, but <laughs> the big message is like, just give it up, just stop, just surrender. Like you don't get to know what's happening. You maybe do have a sense in a bigger level, right? We have this, we have the codes, we have this, but it's like, the South Node and Sagittarius energy and this weird place in between timelines is bringing up this feeling of like, I've got to do something. It's up to me. Somehow I, I have this role and we do, right? We have a role to play and um, it is important to play your role when it comes to time, but you don't, doesn't mean you actually know what that role really is and you don't really know what you're doing. And it's like the, so the picture that I'm getting is that there is a force, you know, life force the supreme force, the force that holds all is so powerful. And it's what animates life It what's so makes us be able to be consciousness in a body, right? And here we are living expressions of that. But so many of these supernova souls feel like there's something they've got to They've got to like, be God, they got to like, figure out they got to fix it, they got to heal it, they got to seek more and learn more and do more or you know just like and that's all connected to that south node in Sagittarius these old stories that's you stuck in uh all old timelines you know in past life timelines or parallel timelines or whatever but um the energy right now is like this it's part of the spiritual revelation energy available with this Pisces Mars and Pisces and it's like oh this is so much bigger than me it's so much bigger than my brain, my little brain, and my little role in all of this. Although it's like, it's so important. You're here, you are tipping the scales, but it's not through like figuring it out and doing it right, you know, or fixing or, you know, all this and healing. And, you know, it's like, we're all trapped in these loyalty contracts and lower dimensional energies, um, trying to figure it all out, just trying so hard. And this energy with Mars in sextile to Pluto, that happens exact uh, tomorrow uh, or on Saturday. And also then Mars in sextile to Jupiter. So this is like taking us through the eclipse. It's exact right at the time of the eclipse at the eclipse 
and the equin or the solstice. And so um, this is bringing a magical energy of possibilities and kind of gymming the lock and creative solutions. But it's like, we can't let those in when we're in this narrow construct of who we thought we were and what we thought we were doing and acting out all these other lower personality constructs from unresolved past lives, you know, being like, I got to figure it out and I got to make it happen. And it's like all of these supernova souls working completely alone on this big, huge project and like feeling like they're not getting anywhere. And this this energy is like, okay, you guys, you know, like, yes, we're doing it. This is a project. You're here right now. You're here to embody and hold true to those codes, to that light, which you don't even know what that means, you know? And the more you try to know, the more you Gemini it up, it's like the less it's going to make sense. And so we're being asked to surrender, not to surrender in defeat, but to surrender to this energy of spiritual revelation that there's like a massively powerful force behind this process and it's like so much bigger than our little constructs that we are trapped in in 3d reality as much as we can have the biggest spiritual awareness life we want you know we are so far away from really comprehending the massive spiritual forces at work in our world that's kind of where we're working with astrology is the representations in the planets and you know the stars of like try to get a grip and and have a sense you know of what's going on but like i i feel like this energy the message is like throw your hands up surrender stop stop trying so hard stop trying to figure it out stop trying to do it all right stop trying to stop beating yourself up um and know that like, yes, you're a player in the game in, in, as, a, as a one who can embody. And when you're in that place of like drama, you know, that everything wants to pull us back into right now. Like everything is designed in this world, in the lower construct, in the control energies, the lower matrix is to pull us back into drama, you know, and we can do that with our spiritual drama, our spiritual ego and and, and, and this feeling of like, I've got to figure it out. I've got to do this thing. I've got to get it right. I've got to, you know, and it's like, <sighs> first of all, it's just right. It's just right. Everything wrong right now is right. And everything right is wrong because we're in this strange multidimensional portal sh push, being pushed through into, you know, this timeline convergence and s coming together, separating whatever is trying to happen. Um, and the picture that I'm seeing is this great force that rules all, that runs all, that holds all, um, creation, God, consciousness, like, it's like, that force is so powerful. And it's like a stirring stick in, in our big consciousness of, of this big cauldron of energy. And what's happening right now, which is why it's so confusing and why we want to go to that place of figuring it out and doing something right and all that is because we are in this slowing down place. And it's like the stirring stick is coming to a place where it's like it's time to go the other direction. So the stirring stick is you got to slow that down right? It's like we've got a vortex going, but it's that, it's that lower matrix and the lower, the, the lower, all these timelines and creating the same traumas over and over again, right? And it's like time to go the other direction, but you can't just go the other direction, right? You've got to slow it down. And that's the purpose of this weird time we're in right now. So it fits this energy of the zero degrees cancer eclipse, a rebirth, into a new relationship to our earth to life itself to this life force and it's kind of like in a way it's knocking us down knocking our it's like an ego death it's just like you know like you are a small child experiencing this reality and stop trying to think that you there's something you, you know you need to figure out with your mind and do to make this happen it's happening that's what we're seeing. That's what we're feeling. And nothing can stop it. And we're being given an opportunity right now to have the surrender, to tap into the spiritual revelation, 
of being available in our consciousness to pay attention to what's happening, not do it or make it happen or do the right thing or make the right decision, but being present in this still point, in the sacred, sacred moment in our evolution of the shifting, turning of the tides and just being there, just being there as that child of God in awe and wonder. And if we can do that and just give it up, give up that ego, give up your agenda, give up your plans. Cause they don't, that's old timeline. How can we see what's around the corner, you know, and be present with this epic moment in time. <laughs> <laughs> out of the drama, out of the fray. And this is definitely the energy of like, you know, Saturn is retrograde at zero degrees Aquarius now. So we've got this more of this zero because of course we're trying to move into the Aquarian age. And so zero degrees Aquarius has this energy of like that place in between Saturn going backwards. It's like, Ooh, you know, like how do, what do we need to do? We need to go, you know, it's like all of this whole time for years, it's been going back so we can go forward, so we can go back, so we're forward and we're not able to go anywhere now. So maybe we're actually getting somewhere. I don't know. But um, yeah, so the sun north node moving us into this energy, a powerful uh, destroying of all that we thought we were and all of our attachments to anything not very fun but then also this magic trying to come in with mars in pisces and sextile to pluto and jupiter saying that like we can do this the breakdown of the old structures that are keeping us in the in the lower timelines happens through spiritual revelation and an activation of spiritual purpose and spiritual service which is difficult because then it takes us right back to that Sagittarius, the sun in Gemini, who in the heck am I? Opposite of Sagittarius, south node saying, um, you are your failures, <laughs> right? You're a culmination of your failures. Just get down on the ground. And it's like, okay, then Mars and Pisces saying, get down on the ground in reverence to this um, this world that we live in, this, this incredible crazy experience of being god consciousness incarnate aware of itself in a physical form going through a massive spiritual transition and mercury turning retrograde in cancer okay what if it's all right there what if the only thing that's keeping us from jumping over into those timelines is whether or not we can receive now this is tricky because what these souls, supernova souls throughout your period of time on earth, receiving has meant receiving persecution, receiving targeting, receiving everything working against you. And what if all of that was actually working for you? What if all of that was working for you for this moment right now so you can drop all of those constructs? It's like getting that ego consciousness beat out of you so that you can move forward into this back to the garden. And it's like, it's just a tricky place, right? Where you're like, oh, nothing's working out. Everything's going wrong. What, why am I being tortured like this? You know, and, um, and, and, and so it's quite, it's quite a feat to go from that feeling of being beat up here in the lower 3D reality into receiving the garden back and you being the one to bring it after being so beaten down. But we're in this place of being humbled in front of the power of creation and bowing down to that and playing our role, not a specific role of those lower constructs that we're so, we've been so attached to. And this is what's so frustrating for these souls because like I need to know what I'm doing and what, how to do it and what, where, what's my next step. And, and it's like you don't get to know. That's not how it works right here in this time where we're being called right here, right now. The zero point is about get out of all of the old stories and be right here, right now, which is very uncomfortable because you don't know who you are and what you're doing. 
And that's where it's like, it's easier to stay in those unresolved stories of the past than to be in the unknown. And yet that's what we're being called to do. So I hope you can join me for the uh, Eclipse Solstice Soul Group session. The information to sign up for that is below. And just hang tight. We're in this like massively magical and crucial and also excruciatingly painful place. <laughs> um, right here, right now, together as we um, surrender to moving forward. So thanks so much for being here with me, you Supernova Souls, and I hope you'll consider joining the Supernova Soul Tribe membership group on my website at adrianelise.com or supernovasouls.com. I hope to see you there. Until next time, I'm Adrian Elise. Namaste.